talk about art because we do everything here on Morning Glory, uh, and it's time to talk about the new portrait of King Charles. Uh, it's been painted by Jonathan Yeo, uh, and it's very red. It has to be said. People have already said to me, uh, it looks a bit like Justice Paul have already thrown something over it, possibly some tomato soup. Let's talk now, though, to art critic Estelle Lovett. Estelle, a very good morning to you. Welcome. Thank you. So, what do you make of it? I mean, apparently there's a monarch butterfly. I've been reading that the red colour was inspired by the uh, colour of the, the Welsh Guard's tunic, which gives it some context, I suppose. But do you know what it reminded me of? And I said this earlier. Do you remember those horrible sort of pa posters that were produced during COVID? by lefties who sort of tried to make it look as if all the members of the cabinet had blood on their hands and they were very kind of graphic and rather rather horrific really it's got a sort of horror tinge to it doesn't it yeah so let's have a look at why jonathan yo did this he is one of the world's most in demand portraitists mm. and i'll tell you why and i'll tell you what he's doing in this painting regardless of whether we like it or we don't like it it's all subjective and objective yes. right so um he's he's mixing traditional portraiture the ideas of traditional portraiture with contemporary experimental ideas mm. some people would say it looks as though do you remember from the 1980s captain beanie who set yes. the world record for sitting in a bath of baked beans for 100 hours raising money for charity right, right? right. but this is all about the paint the impression and the expression of the sitter also um yo is very interested in the surface of the paint mm. he did a series of uh, patients show who've gone through plastic surgery so before and after their cosmetic procedures so it's all about the ideas of beauty and identity mm. and that lovely butterfly which is on uh, the left hand side so on king charles's right shoulder yes. of course, um that that was at the suggestion of king charles mm. and it's a monarch that. butterfly obviously yes i suppose yes. that's why right yes but it's a formal state portrait, and the purpose of those is to manage the image of the royal line. That's the power of portraiture. And for years, we've been fascinated with them. The, the Queen had had some great ones and also had, had some dud ones, yes. you know. But it just seems to me, it's, it's so red. You know, he's, he's inspired by the, the Welsh Guard's tunic, as I say. Mm. But, I mean, everything's red. I mean, is, is it, yeah, except is it not a bit overpowering? It's very overpowering. Um, one might say that he should have perhaps complemented it with, with a touch of green um, to balance the red or, uh, or neutralise the red with a bit of mm. grey, which he has done in his face and his hands, which makes Charles now look rather grey, desolate, um, a bit worn out and washed out, which is perhaps how he's feeling. Or, or maybe he feels, you know, his life at the moment is like being in Dante's City of Fire or something. <laughs> well, the king seems very happy with it, doesn't he? So I suppose that's all that yes, matters. And and does, as does Queen Camilla, who hmm. says you've got him, yes. right down to, um, you know, the, the king says he's got sausage fingers, doesn't he? I think the fingers have been thinned slightly, because I've seen pictures of his fingers yes. a bit fatter than that. But I think he looks quite yes, benign. His face looks quite benign, I think. Yes, um, it is over life size as well. So yeah. you know, you can imagine walking in into um, a room in the in the pal in Buckingham Palace, and that will be the painting that draws your eye because there is so much red. Mm. Whether that's a, a, a good thing or, or or not, you know. But don't forget, Charles himself is a good watercolorist, yes. and his father, the late Duke of Edinburgh, was also a good artist. Going, we know Queen Victoria loved uh, to do watercolors and, and sketch as well. Mm. So. Um, he is a, a, a modern monarchy and he's got a very modern portrait. Right. Some people will love it, some people will not. Yes, indeed. I think I'm going to go with slightly not at the moment. But Estelle, I'll keep looking at it and see if I change my view. Thank you very much indeed.